Now putting on the headset and stepping to the play-by-play -play mic from Arizona State, one of the born announcers, Kyle Kirchel. Kyle, it's all yours. Oh, thank you so much, Eric. Welcome back, everybody, to Dorn Park here in Bourne, Massachusetts. The Braves will send the four, five, six hitters up against Logan Gilbert, who has been very solid in his start so far for Orleans. Right-handed pitcher facing the left-handed Witherspoon. First pitch to him misses low, 1-0. Well, for Witherspoon, it's kind of been a streaky summer. He's been in the middle of the order. He's been at the top of the order. But when he's been most successful, he's worked deep counts as he's in a 2-0 count here. To kind of put that into perspective, he was 5 for 11 from the 17th to the 20th this month, but since then, 0 for his last nine. This one's fouled off, and the count remains 2-1. On deck, it's Scott Schreiber. He's got hits in eight of his last 11. The Braves could really use some offensive firepower here against Logan Gilbert. This pitch has popped up. He'll get out of play. Well, for Logan Gilbert, he's coming off of an excellent season at Stetson. 10 and two with a 2.02 ERA in 15 games and 12 starts. The 2-2, chopped foul, Witherspoon stays alive. Witherspoon, one of four left-handed bats in the Braves order. Harvey Shapiro likes to mix those guys up from the top to the bottom of the orders. This one's lined into right field for a base hit. It'll get into the gap but not go very far. Witherspoon takes a big turn. He's on his way to second, and he's in with a leadoff double. Grant Witherspoon providing some pop, and just like that, the Braves have a man in scoring position with no one out here in the fourth. A great job by Grant Witherspoon. Heads up, aggressive base running as he takes second base. Looked like a routine single, but hustling out of the box and able to get into scoring position to lead things off here for Bourne and spark something as that ball hit hard into right field, but Witherspoon very aggressively into second. Gotta like that. So here's Scott Schreiber. He lines this one into the center field, but not too far. Riley's under it, and he'll make the catch on just one pitch. Well, getting back to Witherspoon's aggressive base running, that's kind of been his thing this summer. He steals a lot of bases. He takes a lot of large leads from first. He's been, I guess, chastised by Harvey Shapiro a couple times, trying to nab third with two outs in an inning. Kind of a cardinal sin in baseball, but a very aggressive base runner, and this time it pays off. You see right there, Witherspoon, one of the main extra base sources for the Braves this summer with his 10 doubles. As Gilbert checks on the man, Witherspoon at second. Schreiber was 0 for 4 with two strikeouts last night. As I mentioned, he has hits in eight of his last 11, but his last multi-hit game came back on July 10th. Showing bunt here is Hannah, excuse me, he's the man at the plate, lays down an excellent bunt, it's gonna turn into a hit, and just like that, Witherspoon's on third after Hannah lays down an excellent bunt, and now there's men on the corners for Jared Triolo. A great bunt here by Hannah, right down the third base line, and Quack Groshans, I think, surprised him. Watch the bunt here, turns very late and just Gets the head of the bat out, and with his speed, he's going to get to first base easily. So for Bourne, making things happen, the, the hustling Witherspoon, and now the great bunt by Hannah, first and third, only one away. So that brings up Jared Triolo. He could really use a big hit here. Men on the corners for the Braves. And this one could get the job done as it's flied out to center field. Riley's back. Tagging is Witherspoon, and he's going to score standing up. And we've got a tie ball game here at Dorn Park. Uh, Triolo getting it done. Getting the sack fly. Got to like the way they manufactured that run this inning. And Harvey Shapiro making it happen. And we have a tie ball game. So that'll bring up Tyler Fitzgerald. One of the guys on this Braves team that has been very impressive as far as situational hitting. The Braves don't have a ton of offensive firepower, so they need to move guys station to station. Hannah's back at first with a dive. Hannah, great speed for the Braves. He hasn't been 
on base too often this summer to steal bases as he struggled coming into tonight. Pitch to Fitzgerald is fouled back. Well, for Tyler Fitzgerald, probably his highlight of the summer came against Harwich back on July 19th. He had a big two-run home run to give the Braves the victory. Really a solo home run from Jeremy Ironman also provided some insurance, but that's the most pop that we have seen here at Dorn Park. Two home runs for the Braves in that game. Pitch out, Hannah's not going. After Fitzgerald, it's the nine hitter Andy Atwood, and then the lineup will turn over for Harvey Shapiro. Logan Gilbert looking to get out of this here with two outs. It's breaking ball, misses outside. Pitch count now at 71 for Logan Gilbert. Gilbert, the first team all conference selection this past spring. Had a game in which he struck out the first 10 men he faced. This throw almost got away from the first baseman, Newt Bar, on the pickoff attempt. Take a look at the pitch count here, the 31 in that first inning where he really had to battle to get through that first inning and kind of decent after that. The 2-1, Hannah takes off. Throw down to second is not in time as Hannah got an excellent jump. And that'll put a man into scoring position for the Braves with two outs and one of the best situational hitters on the Braves at the plate. Nice job by Hannah to get a good jump and get into scoring position. And he got a great jump off of Logan Gilbert. Hale's throw just a little late. This one's fouled off of the foot of Fitzgerald and the count goes full. Hannah's showcased some athleticism this summer. He's made some excellent plays out in the outfield. Back in the last inning, or I guess in the third inning, where Hannah was out in left field, kind of misplayed a ball in the corner that was maybe fair, maybe foul, and ended up being a double to help Orleans take the lead at the time, but we're tied here at Dorn Park. The 3-2 is popped up. This one shallow and over to the right side. The first baseman, Newpar, has it, and that'll end the inning. Great job, Kyle. Good to hear your voice here, and best of luck the rest of the way here at Bourne and at Arizona State. Yeah, appreciate it. Thank you so much. 2-2 game as we head to the fifth. 